see, uh, uh, time and again we have problems with co founders, right? I mean, everybody likes to think we have the right team and all this. And uh, uh, more than 70% of startups fail because of the wrong. It's actually nothing wrong about the team, but the people are not able to work together. So 70% of teams fail because you've got a wrong co-founder and you could be the wrong person for the other as well. Right? So, uh, and what is it that fails? One of the key things is uh, that we always like to connect with passion. He's equally passionate. She's amazingly passionate about it. Right? But things that really make up is something, you know, this is from seven magnificent, uh, magnificent seven, right? I don't know. Uh, there is a newer version also. I'm more friendly with the older version. So, uh, uh, the, it's the purpose is what I would rate more and uh, that's what actually helps teams and co-founders work better together. So try to get that first and uh, I'll just run through, I had some other stories. See another thing is that this is what we always have with our co-founders, in fact most of the co-founders. We always like to see ourselves as better than the other and it invariably happens so as you start running along, right? And once you start making little money and once you have some customer coming, then you start seeing that you are actually doing more and unfortunately where we should be actually beating the customer and the competition or we start hitting each other. And this happens and we see it all the time. So I thought we could just talk about that a bit and uh, think about it, reflect it, reflect it and you probably also think about the other observations. So this is another popular movie Right, and uh, what I like about is this, right? There are two guys riding. Right, we always see that in our uh, ventures that we done, and you probably see it right now, right? Each of us would like to imagine ourselves in the riding seat, and most times we would be riding it, and somebody else is having a free ride. And this is a per perception, right? I mean, who's sitting where? And this happens, and the other thing is. Uh, there's a lot of problem. We are, it's always fun when you're going together. It's always a lot of fun. But you again get into a problem is when you start looking at, you know what, it's I who am driving and it's he who's been sitting there having fun. And uh, you know, uh, just before this again, yeah, one other thing I wanted to talk about uh, there's a uh, few other startups uh, recently that have been uh, engaged with. People always say that they've been talking. We've been, you know, we have conflicts. It's always good to have conflicts, which is good because, you know, conflicts are always good, right? I and mean, it's always good you get your thing out. And also, uh, uh, these are uh, fresh out of college, two years into startup, time good, you know, they've come up with some good things, they attracted investments, in fact, that investor actually got me to work with these guys. So these guys are doing some really good thing. They have also secured some big clients without investors intervention or mind. In fact, they already signed up with some big enterprise contracts. So everything is going good. They are set to get some million dollars and he's just given some small money and he's also lined a big deal and they have problems there. And when we talk about it, three of them, all youngsters, they actually stay together. They, they share a house, they share a flat. They day in, day out, they live together. So, do you talk it out your own? Yeah, we talk all the time. We fight with each other all the time and next day we are back to work. The reality is that they were just fighting, they were venting. See, conflict resolution is not venting. You got to resolve it. You don't resolve it, it's just there all the time. And you'll always have good time like this when you, you know, for a time. Selfie times, and after that, you will look at it and you are not sitting with him, you will creep with somebody else that you know, bastard, he's having all the fun while I do all the hard work. Happens and keeps happening. And you know what? That investor we drew. That investor we drew, and pretty sad for those guys. In fact, two of them have got on to doing something else. One of the guys left out saying that he got the big client. I mean, think about it the guy who was sitting with his leg up is the guy who got the big enterprise. Client. The CEO and CEO worked on it and made sure that the client is happy about it, but they think he didn't do anything after that. He's just having fun while these guys deliver. And now the company is split. So, you know, and this is another thing, right? We always try to look at gaps. We try to get a co-founder with what gap I have. This is what I'm good at, so I need somebody else, you know, who can just do this and people fall off, right? But 
you know, this is a good deal when you want to do a project management thing, right? You have a project, you want to execute, you want a specialist, it's great. But the same thing doesn't work for a co-founder. So, this is where I'd like to just leave you with and say that you look at what is your linchpin, right? It's unique for each of us. See, it's unique for me, it's unique for you, each of you, and even for your co-founder. So, just look at it, what is it that connects with, between each of you? It need not be that gap, right, or that superhuman skill. Right? And most important thing is that you figure out the guy with the leg up, right, is good at getting big clients. He may not be effective in delivering it. So you got to understand where is he good at and how do you manage it. So you can be unhappy because you have that one big project and next nine months you are slogging and all he did was two months. But damn it, two months he got a big client. If he gets one more big client, can you sustain? Right, so figure out what is that linchpin for each of you. This is another one of my favorites, Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. I don't know, many of you below 30 may not recognize it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, just those quick tips, right? Just look at that. I don't want to read it, I just don't be probably running short of time. And, uh, yeah, just don't poke into your co founder. And uh, honestly, you know, whatever is there in the rule book, you can always do that. Everybody advises to do that. The best first thing to do is before you actually get started, trust me, it helps. Before you actually get started, do a co finder alignment exercise. It really helps. Right? Thank you, and we can break for coffee and regroup here.